Hello, this is Mark Nicholas from Los Angeles. We're here to test the Draycast LED 1000s when it comes to high speed video. Our job is to test the intensity as well as the, the, um, the character of the light that comes out during some high speed tests. As you can see, we've got a couple Draycast panels, 1000s daylight balanced and uh, an Edgertronic in the center. Our goal here is to drop a quarter just take some high-speed video, run it off to the computer, and just see what things look like at various frame rates. Nothing uh, fancy. This is pretty certain to be one uh, boring video. It definitely will not be going viral. So my, uh, my viral hopes are, are going to be quashed with this one. The camera itself has some new fr firmware. Otherwise, we have no special settings going on inside the camera. The screen for setting the parameters uh, as you can see they don't always match what you put in we sometimes have to massage them a little bit so 700 frame rate may end up at 696 if we don't have enough pixels horizontal horizontal and vertical i'll try to be detailed in my specs so that you know exactly what we're looking at so here's going to be a 700th of a second f8 iso 600. i'm going to drop the quarter right in front of the camera i'm looking at the computer so that I know exactly where it's dropped. And here's a copy of the video. So it's 700. It's a, it's pretty simple. The light looks really clean. Sometimes I kept it a little hot, sometimes a little bit cool, but it's always about, about right. Moving up to 1500 frames per second, shutter at 1500 F8 again, ISO 600. So we haven't had the monkey with the light at all. And there you go. I, you know, at, um, uh, a nice wide uh, or a nice um, compromise aperture. So not too wide, not too narrow. Uh, we have had no problems with the lights. As you could see from the original picture, the lights are pretty far back and that, uh, that light looks real clean. The whites are pretty standard. Uh, uh, excuse me, the lights, the whites are, uh, they're not changing shade. Um, it's just a shot of the computer just so you can kind of see what's coming in and how it comes in. We're going to move on here to a 3,500th of a second. Again, uh, shutter speed. I'm going to match the frame rate. The aperture I opened up a little bit more to get a little bit more light, but no change to the ISO. So, uh, so we'll give that a shot. You can see now we're starting to see the, the crop box is getting a little tighter. And I'm seeing a little bit of movement here in the light, but obviously at this kind of a frame rate, we're starting to get some anomalies from the camera. But overall, I would call this uh, real clean. 3,500 frames a second. Moving up to 7,000 frames per second. The actual is about 6,600. Shutter speed at 1 7,000th. The aperture here, I, I opened up a little bit more. And right off the bat, you could see it's actually a little too bright. I could have gotten away easily at 5.6 again. But I left this video in here because as the quarter turns around, you'll see that it, it is very well exposed when not facing directly at the light. Um... There's some, uh, some aberrations here. The white looks clean. It does not seem to be moving around all that much. So I would, I would call this a, a successful use of the lights. Got a lot of power here coming in at F4. We don't need to be at F4, even though we're at a 7,000th when it comes to the shutter speed. Now check out 15,000 uh, frames per second, shutter speed of 1 20,000th. Again, we got an F4 going on here. So we've got a bit of a crop box. Not that big a deal. I'll, I'll enlarge it and keep the specs on the screen. You can see a tiny little bit of noise that's caused by the boost in the ISO. But for 1 20,000th of a second in terms of uh, the shutter speed, Coming back at you at 15,000 frames per second, I'd consider this light to be more than satisfactory. Um, 
We got a plenty, plenty of light. We are way off of having opened up that lens all the way. I do think that if need be, we've got plenty of room to move those lights closer as well. That would be a tremendous boost in light. So there are a lot of options here uh, from light to subject distance as well as uh, everything else. So that's it. It's pretty boring, but it's important knowing the character of your light. And I'm very happy to know that light panels, particularly the Draycasts that I'm using here, will do just fine. They're bright. They're clean. The, uh, the lighting is nice. I really enjoyed it. So that's it. Mark from L.A. signing off. Have a great one. Talk to you later.